and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra and I am a stay-at-home mom to a 20-month-old toddler girl named Anastasia and I'm currently expecting baby number two at the beginning of April. And with that being said, we needed a double stroller because we are gonna have two babies that we're gonna have to lug around here soon. So this is gonna be my very first like unboxing slash review video. And we decided on the Graco Duo Glider stroller. And to be honest with you, I don't really know much about like double strollers or strollers in general. I'm not somebody that usually gets a super fancy stroller. I just want it to work well, last, and look decent as far as like style goes it doesn't have to be anything super cute or fancy or anything like that I just want it to work well that's the biggest thing for me is practicality and just being able to use it with ease and it's not too difficult to figure out and it's very durable with that being said we got the Graco duo glider and this is just the one that I found on Amazon that had the best reviews and it was also in our price range so I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox this and put it together and then kind of figure it out and tell you guys what I think about it Okay, so for the most part, this was pretty simple to put together. I will say that the first thing that I noticed was it was a little bit heavy for me. When I tried to lift it up out of the box, I couldn't really lift it up because it was a little too heavy and it's kind of long because it's obviously a double stroller. So if I had to guess, it's probably around 20 or 30 pounds. But again, this is just me guessing off the top of my head. It might not actually be that much. I'm just very pregnant right now. So lifting things up out of boxes like this is kind of hard for me to do. So I will say that I had to like lay it down flat and pull it out of the box, which is probably the safer option anyway. But other than that, there were a couple of things that I was getting kind of confused about when I was first trying to put it together, but that's kind of my personality. I like to try and figure it out on my own first, and then if I need the instructions, I go back and read the instructions. However, if you're somebody that just is very straightforward and reads the instructions word by word, you'll probably be able to figure out how to put this together a lot quicker than I did. So this is what the whole thing looks like once you put it together. It's really hard for me to like get the whole stroller and myself in the frame, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys like an idea of how big it is. So this took me about like 30, 45 minutes to put together. Um, I'm assuming that other people could probably do it a lot quicker than I can because I'm very pregnant right now. And I was also trying to like read the instructions at the same time, but it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. The stroller comes almost completely assembled you just have to attach the wheels and like the baskets and the little attachments and things like that the way that it comes set up is with the two toddler seats and for me personally i feel like it's a little bit long but that's only because i've ever used a single stroller before i've never used a double stroller so i kind of expect that to feel a little bit bigger than i'm used to pushing around with just a single but other than that, you can switch these around. I'm not sure how many ways this specific one can be switched around, but I know there's at least four or five different ways that you can do. You can do like two infant carriers, you can do one infant carrier on this side, or you can switch it and put it on this side. And I'm pretty sure that you can like flip the seats certain ways, but I'm gonna try out a couple of different ways with the infant carrier that I have from my daughter Anastasia that we used. This is the one that we used with her. This is just the Sun Gride 35, and it's also a Graco one, so it has the click connect, which means I can hopefully put it into the stroller. I'm gonna test it out really quick and see if I can ignore how messy it is because it's been sitting in the garage for a while, but I'm gonna see if this one will snap into place onto the stroller, how I think I'm gonna wanna use it. Okay, so this is what it looks like with one of the infant carrier attachments. I just put it on the front 
and that way your toddler can sit here and face the baby and the baby can also face you which i think this will probably be one of the ways that i end up using the stroller is like this or i'm gonna see how i like it with the infant carrier closer to me and having my toddler right in front so i'm gonna switch these around and see what that looks like instead Okay, so this is what it looks like the other way that you can put the infant carrier if you're just using one. Um, I put the, this first seat down flat. I don't know if you necessarily need to do that. I didn't try it without it. But it is secured in place and it's not going anywhere. And I honestly feel like with this setup, it's a little more compact than the other way around. The only thing that I don't particularly love about this setup is that I feel like when you're here, this like little parent tray thing that you can like put your stuff in um, is kind of like in the way and you can't really see into the carrier that well, but that could just be because I'm short, I'm only 5'2", so I can imagine if you're a little bit taller that it's probably fine. But I do like that with this way, the newborn is more like concealed and more like tucked away rather than being out in the open. I'll probably start out with a stroller like this when our baby first gets here just for the first couple of months just so I can keep him a little bit closer to me make sure that no one's like getting too close to him or trying to touch him or anything like that and then once he gets a little bit older I may transition him over to this side and it still has the toddler seat up front which is awesome and it has the little um, like snack and cup tray and then I also took off the little um, sun visor thing when I was putting the infant carrier there but that can also go on top as well but this is pretty much what it looks like when you have a setup with the infant carrier and so far, I like it a lot. Like I said, I feel like it's a little bit long, but again, that's just because it's a double stroller and that's something that I'm probably just gonna have to get used to. But all in all, I really do like this stroller. It wasn't very hard to set up and I feel like the transitions of the different like seating arrangements are pretty straightforward. The only other thing that I haven't tried to do yet is to fold it up, so I'm gonna try and do that now and then I'll go ahead and wrap this video up and tell you guys my final thoughts on everything and whether or not I recommend it so far. Okay, so that's what it looks like all folded up. It was really easy to fold up. You just have to take the infant carrier out and then um, recline the front seat and then put down both of the canopies. And then there's a little lever on the front that you just twist and pull forward and it kind of just like collapses onto itself. So that's what it looks like folded up. Again, I think it feels really long to me just because I've never had a double stroller. But so far it seems really easy to use and I'm excited to actually use it once I have two babies here. I'm gonna give it a little test run later when Anastasia is awake from her nap to see how she likes it. Before we add in her little brother as well but so far so good i'll probably be doing an updated review on this stroller once i've had it for a little while and i've been using it with both of my children but like i said i really like it so far especially if you're in the market for a more affordable double stroller that has really good reviews this is definitely one that i would recommend i just checked on amazon and i think it goes for like 130 dollars right now and normally it's like 170 almost so i'll go ahead and leave a link for this exact stroller that i have down below just keep in mind that it does not come with any info carrier so you will need a click connect Graco infant carrier to go along with this if you don't already have one but if you already have one that works out perfectly but other than that that's going to wrap up this unboxing and review video I really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions or anything like that like as far as any features I didn't show or something you are wondering about or whatever it is leave those down in the comments below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.